Hello everybody, it is Nick from Flaming Amazing Gaming, and if you're watching this video, you probably want your Minecraft to look a little something like this. Yes, I did add background music to my video. I thought it was necessary. I think it's suitable, and I think it sounds great. Moving on. So I've been in a tutorial making mode lately, and today I'm going to teach you how to install shaders. Now, um, this feature is a bit bottlenecked by one of the mods because it's only up to date as of 1.7.2 so that is the latest version you can use this with as of February 20th 2015 oh oh hello slime I see you there little guy don't worry about me alright let's get started alrighty so there's gonna be three links in the description there's gonna be this one for Optifine super easy this one for Forge, not too bad. The next one for the Shaders mod. And I'm missing a link for the actual shaders. Don't worry, that'll be in the description too, as well as the video. Let's move forward. First with Optifine, let's download it. Up here, skip ad. Once that counts down, look at all these beautiful ads. Okay, click this link right here, and you should get Optifine, whatever. I'm, gonna, I'm giving you the link for the 1.7.2 HD version. So, you're going to copy this. And in your search bar, you're going to go to App Data, surrounded by percentage signs. Go to your .minecraft folder. And yeah, yada yada, back up your stuff if you don't want to mess up and lose everything. You're going to go to your Mods folder, and then simply paste. And that will give you the newest version of this <laughs> version of Optifine. It was updated actually a week ago, so it is pretty up to date. Next, why is this League of Legends here? Next, you're going to want to download is Forge. Let's download that. Click Keep. This is going to be the installer, so it's going to be pretty easy for you. Click Install Client. Ta-da! That should be all set. So let's just double check our Minecraft here. So the new profile should have been made, which is Forge like this, not the uppercase one. That was my own from before. Click play, make sure everything's working. Always gotta double check, that way you, if you do mess up, you know where. <coughs> which I think I just did. Alrighty guys, totally forgot to mention, you do need Java 7 as uh, this was the Java version used with these mods. Now Java is at uh, version 8 I believe. So what you're going to do is download it, it'll create the directory for it and everything. And once it is downloaded, go to your Forge profile again. Click Edit Profile and you're going to want to check mark this executable, little tick mark there. and use this directory right here and yes I know what you're probably all thinking oh flaming will you include that directory in the description yes I'll let you copy and paste it you lazy mother -er. this is going to allow minecraft to be played with that forge mod so click save profile and play come on big money come on there it is there you go so that's <laughs> a little too excited that's what you gotta do and uh, now we may continue let's keep going alrighty guys we're almost there now you're gonna wanna click on the shaders link and install that this is what processes the shaders that you do put in the shader packs folder so you're gonna just drag this right into your mods folder just as you did with the optifine there you go shaders mod the final step is to install the actual shaders. We're going to go with uh, Sonic Ethers. So let's uh, find that. Sonic Ethers, unbelievable shaders. So we're going to go with the uh, Ultra No Blur. That is my favorite. I found it to be the least buggy in the 
easiest to handle. Whoa! Download this puppy right here. Shabam! Once that's done, open it up in your downloads folder. And the next step is to drag and drop it into your shader packs folder. If there isn't one there already, if you haven't made it already, just click right click rather on your Minecraft folder, new folder, and then name it shader packs just like you see here. And you're gonna want to drag and drop just like you do with all your files and wait for that to transfer over into your shader packs folder once that's done start up minecraft click play hopefully if you did everything correctly if you followed my beautiful steps it should definitely work and it should definitely make your minecraft look gorgeous as hell so let me uh, unfull screen this and let's see how it works Let's go with it. Whoa! Everything is bright and beautiful. And that's all it takes, guys. It's not too much work. A lot of people seem to get confused, not sure why. But uh, here you have it. If you want to uh, download other shaders, feel free to Google and uh, do your own thing. And um, if you do want to switch in between your shaders in the middle of the game, all you need to do is go to your menu, options, and there's going to be a little shaders button right here and you can change all the settings you want do whatever you want to do and there's a lot more to it but that's for another video you can customize the shaders in the specific shader files but that takes quite some time going back and forth in between the game and the files and that's not something I'd like to do. Ooh, is my slime buddy inside now? I hear him squirming around oh, oh, alright, my slime buddy is right there Hello! Hey, little guy! Hey! How's it going? Alrighty, everybody! Thank you for watching this tutorial! Please comment, rate, and subscribe! Flaming out!